Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and um, this is going to be a video about uh, summer solstice rituals which uh, will happen in 21st of June and as you many of you know that many cultures, many um, nationalities uh, celebrate this day also our ancestors uh, used to celebrate this day and this tradition still lives in many, many countries and um, it's very popular um, celebration, celebration of uh, nature and also very popular with um, any kind of uh, rituals, uh, magic uh, so I will share with you some some knowledge, some uh, some tips how to attract luck, love and all the best using this uh, very powerful day, very uh, uh, energy based day, so all in your favor and also we'll discuss what um, is not to do so um, thank you for watching I hope we, you will enjoy it and use it uh, so, let's start with um, the day we wake up on 21st of June. Uh, make sure that you wake up with in a good mood. Uh, be grateful, be thankful uh, towards the sun. If if it's cloudy that day, so still still do it. Say try to say it loud that what you are grateful, um, what you have in your life, and. Um, you still um, roughly know where the sunrise, uh, where you where you live, so point in that direction. Um, uh, then, mm, it, of course, it's very good to wear clothing the bright colors, especially anything that um, is close to the sun, so it's of course yellow, golden, orange, uh, red and pink and also it's good colors are uh, green and it's good to wear golden jewelry um, golden jewelry or jewelry with uh, diamonds, ruby or any uh, other gemstones, maybe yellow colors, pink, red and mm, and clear uh, also you can um, just wear, uh, use any jewelry that you use on a daily basis it doesn't matter what metal uh, is made of and doesn't matter what uh, stones is have as, as long as you really, really love that jewelry, you know um, so, because the energy of the day is so strong, um, this jewelry and these stones, they will take the energy from the sun and they will, you will receive it back for the rest of the year. Um, so, also you can use that jewelry to make your lucky charm or uh, amulet. So, when you wake up, when you say your... Um, appreciation to the sun for everything you have good in your life is also to do it this way with your palms towards the sun uh, and say oh I don't know s s make an affirmation or make a prayer towards the sun thank you for everything I have good in my life uh, also you can put your uh, beloved jewelry uh, to the towards sun and ask to and imagine at the same time that all of that jewelry sucks in all of the en uh, sun's energy <clears throat> so it takes the energy inside of the stone or jewelry itself so uh, after that uh, if you have a chance uh, it's very good to spend this day um, with your family, with your friends with your loved ones, try not to be alone uh, also try to be 
positive and happy. Uh, in that day, it's important not to feel, not to feel anger, mm, not to uh, have any negative thoughts. Uh, so, if possible, um, maybe don't watch, uh, I don't know, a TV or news. So don't maybe don't don't watch uh, or listen to the radio. Anything where you can get any negative information from and that uh, will affect you or will stay on your mind so maybe nothing um, uh, so avoid also some um, violent movies like I said news anything to do with the violence or negativity uh, try to because um, like I say again and this this day is so powerful that that ne negativity will come back to you uh, three times more. So obviously, if you so in that day, what what message you will send to the universe? Uh, what what thoughts gonna be occupying your head? That will you receive back three times more. So uh, if you will feel negative about something, um, angry. Uh, frustrated that's what you're gonna get for the rest of the year because we're charging um, ourselves we're charging um, our amulets and we do our rituals which gonna last for the whole year ahead uh, so of course if you don't want to have any any negativity back so try not to send it um, so like I said again let's, uh, try to spend time with your friends with people you love, um, people you, you care about and trying to spend the day uh, to nature and walk with the barefoot uh, on the beach, on the grass, on the earth so you have a connection with the with the mother earth, with the nature and you will get that um, healing energy and because our food it have very strong connection and lots of nerves um, so and through our food, all the negativity will goes away, and earth energy will will gather and collect. So um, now we're gonna talk about what you definitely shouldn't do. And like I said again, uh, don't be angry with anybody, don't uh, argue with anybody, don't uh, bet don't wish bad things on anybody uh, don't plot revenge don't say your revenge don't curse anybody don't hate anybody um, so uh, if you um, know that some people make you feel that way or um, you get a negative reaction so try to avoid them at the day or try to ignore it like I said, or bad, or even best to avoid them altogether. Um, so, like I said, only positive thoughts. And um, what else? Also, in that day, uh, is important that you don't borrow any money to anybody uh, money or even objects or things if someone say oh can i borrow your i don't know your pen or something try not to do it um so try not to borrow yourself from anybody or and give it to you anybody any objects or anything also in that day if you found something on the ground uh, some somewhere on the street don't don't pick it up just leave it don't don't touch it uh, doesn't matter how attractive that might be mm, so don't pick it up and and don't keep it also pay attention to people uh, who is around you especially people who you don't uh, really know that well uh, that people are new in your surrounding who asking something from you again wants the or just trying to give you something uh, as, a, as a gift for free, for no reason, as, as a present. Mm. 
because uh, like I just mentioned, um, it's many practices practitioners gonna be working in that day because of how powerful that is and you never know what energies or what these people have in their minds especially if you don't know them that well so a lot of um, dark uh, magic uh, will be operating at that time so you don't want to risk it because uh, when we um, give somebody um, our object we exchanging an energy so like i said if you don't know well that person you don't know um, uh, what is on his mind uh, you don't want to have um, this chance to get under that uh, dark energy uh, right uh, and now we're gonna talk uh, what is to do, uh, good to do in this day or oh, we must and it is advised um, so of course as usual it's very good to do any meditation any affirmation like I said um, any any prayers or you can just, just be thankful you just put your hands towards sun like I said like this and say oh thank you sun that I have my family thank you for i don't know i have my life um, and so on what are you grateful for um, uh, so and also very good to do any rituals and charge uh, your objects uh, which you uh, can be any object in your house uh, which can become the amulets of your house that are gonna protect your house uh, your house and attract luck and all the best for you and your family, your strength and family uh, and health. We can charge it with the sunlight, um, the same as we charge, uh, we can charge our uh, uh, stones on uh, full moon, so we can use uh, sun just the same. Uh, so, it's good time to start um, healing if you are unwell, so it's good to start a healing process. Uh, and it's good time to ask for, to strengthen, strengthen your health, strengthen your relationship, strengthen your, um, your family, uh, attract love and luck. Uh, it's very important day uh, for women, especially uh, well, for uh, for anybody, if person cannot uh, have difficulty conceive a child um, and really wants to, so it's um, it's very good to say prayer uh, to the sun, asking uh, for this to happen in your life. Um, also, it's very good to have a prayer for success and a good harvest. Uh, in this day, you can charge anything with the sun energy. Uh, like I said, that it can be become your, I don't know, mascot, amulet. Um, so you can, you can charge even a, a simple ways, you know, uh, or anything that or some some little statue, anything, uh, any decorative uh, decorative object um, in your house, and you put it towards on the sunlight, and um, and you pray to that object. You imagine that it collects all the sun energy. Also, the day is very good to collect herbs. If you're working with them or you're healing with them uh, and maybe to, to dry it or it's also very good to collect um, together with the herbs uh, wild flowers and make make a hair decoration or make a hair band or make a head wreath. So it's important to make it a circle shape so it represents sun. Like I said, all of this day is all about sun. Um, and while you're making this wreath or any decorations with these flowers, as 
the more flowers you use, the better that is, uh, that you put your wish uh, together with the flowers, maybe in your head, or even if you say them out loud, is even better. It's um, you making your wishes, and then you put them on, on your head, and uh, maybe put a red candle in front of you, and concentrate on that wish, and maybe say it, look at that flame, uh, so that will attract uh, luck and your wishes to come through. Um, and after that, be grateful again to the sun and for the light, for the for the warmth, um, for everything like you have in your. And say thank you. Very simple. Uh, also, it's very good time to um, put. Decorate, decorate your house with the flowers again anything uh, yellow orange golden pink and red uh, put fresh flowers in your house uh, also it's very good um, to put to decorate your house with um, candles the same using the same colors red golden yellow orange uh, or pink and um, before we start our rituals, of course, this is we need to clean our house. And this, these rituals of cleaning our house and also bringing luck and uh, fulfill our house same time. So uh, to clean your house, uh, well, house, office, uh, room, mm, anything that you want to fill up with positivity or luck um, so we have to start with the you start you take a red candle uh, actually red yellow golden um, candle and start with your front door and you walk around the whole perimeter of your house uh, clockwise you starting you going you light up the candle and you're going very slowly and um, by doing when you're doing this uh, you might notice that um, the flame is not is uneven it's um, have a black um, smoke or it make it, it like noise sometimes this the candles, if it's good positive energy in the house, is very straight flame and you don't hear it. But sometimes it's like trickling noise. And so you have to, while you're walking, if you notice this uh, behavior with your candle, that means in that area, uh, most likely is governed energy. It doesn't, it's not necessarily means that is um, dark energy. Or negative energy it just means maybe it's just um, energy that's gathered together and it doesn't let um, other energy to to move um, freely to have this good flow so you just uh, take your, your time at that place uh, especially that can be happening in the corners or if you have any uh, any like dark dark cupboards rooms so it's um, can happen there um, so you need to say you, you're standing there and you need to say my house getting cleaned up from all standing energy and, and negative energy uh, you can also say prayers about cleaning your house. And you will finish your cleaning again next to the front door uh, where you started. And if you have um, a big house, more than one, um, more than one store, so you of course go do the same and eat in every room, well, as, as you wish. Um, so, 
when you're standing where you uh, when you come back in the place where you started um, Uh, you need to thank the candle for work is done, for flame, uh, for cleaning your house uh, and the flame for cleaning your house. And you need to standing still standing after with the lit candle after you thanking them. You need to ask um, the sun's energy to fill your house with warm, positive energy. And do it all again, but with this time we're gonna go against uh, clockwise so because we go when we're cleaning we go um, clockwise and anti-clock we're going when we trying to attract and fill up our house um, and again you can um, say prayers and ask for what you want to fill your house with Maybe you want to fill your house uh, with happiness, with uh, laughter, with health, with, with success, anything you want. Mm. When, you, when you're done, you just uh, wait, just leave a candle to finish uh, burning and, and that's it. Right, to attract uh, or strengthen your family. <clears throat> You, it's very nice time to prepare a family meal, family dinner, and it would be very nice if you can make something the shape uh, shape of a circle, again representing the sun. Uh, so the dish is round, so maybe pie. Doesn't matter. It can be a sweet pie, can be um, vegetable pie or meat, anything. Uh, but doesn't have to you don't need to cook much maybe it could be just one meal but well whole family will enjoy and you will spend spend this time together and it's also important to maybe make meaning to to this dinner like you again it's like is thank you to the sun um So, uh, to attract, now is the ritual if you want to attract something new in your life. So, when, you, uh, uh, when you're going to go to sleep, 21st of June, uh, at night, eventually you will go to sleep, turn your objects upside down in the house. I'm not saying, of course, turn your whole house upside down, but as much as you can, or mm, you can have time for. Um, and when you're doing this, you should feel that you are in charge, that you are in control of your life. Uh, every changes will come <clears throat> because you are capable and you are strong enough to handle them. And before you go to sleep, you should say these words. My house is upside down, but life will begin with a new day and, and you go to sleep when you wake up of course you can put everything back into its place mm. okay uh, to attract now is ritual to attract money so um, Put all of your change, what you have, I don't know, around the house or in your wallet, uh, under the little carpet in front of your um, front door. Uh, put underneath and leave it there for the night. Uh, well, spread it and leave it for the whole day. Leave it for the whole day. And next day you can spend it on something small for your house, will, which will um, become your amulet in the end. And now is quite strong ritual for um, if you want your wishes to come true. Um, but this is a warning from me. Um, 
this ritual uh, not should do a pregnant woman shouldn't do uh, because this is very strong ritual and it can open the portals that can affect the pregnancy <clears throat> so pregnant woman stay away from this one um, so this this is ritual with fire so if you have a chance of you're gonna gather with your friends and make a big outdoor fire uh, you should make it fire just with uh, dry firewood firewood uh, natural with maybe made from twigs so don't use <clears throat> don't use paper uh, especially don't use the paper with any writing on it because um, it's gonna be dist distracting with the spells um, <clears throat> so the fire should be natural then you and your friends make a circle around the fire clockwise and clockwise every person should say something out loud what uh, he's grateful uh, in this year what what uh, what he's thankful for what what good happened to him mm -hmm. um, after that you all sit down and watching the flame each one of you can make a wish, but of course, this is already, you don't have to say it out loud. This is, you can uh, say it to yourself. Um, and so this is have to be done in silence. And then to pay, pay your respect to the fire, you can throw something over there, maybe some flowers, some, some twigs, some... Um, um, some piece of clothing that you wanted to throw away, something you don't need. Um, so this is going to be your thank you. Mm, right, and uh, this next ritual uh, is going to be for love and to attract the good luck. Uh, you should prepare a string, mm, not, uh, maybe not very thick yellow or, or golden color and 10 round beads it doesn't matter what size uh, they are it doesn't matter what color they are if you have children you can borrow something from um, from their games <laughs> that you'll be able to put uh, through that um, that string and first you make a knot and you make a wish then you put Put a bead, leave a little gap, make another knot, your wish, so and so on. Um, this way you can make 10 wishes because we use 10 beads, or if it's very something really big, something really significant wish, you uh, make all you repeat your wish. Um, all 10 times uh, plus uh, in the end when you done it when you tied your last knot you don't put this uh, in circle on where it or your hand or anything like this no you leave it loose with your 10 beads and you uh, put it somewhere with you maybe in your handbag because wishes have to come uh, they can't be in the circle so they can become become true. Um, so, like I said, this um, ritual uh, in ancient times uh, used to be called uh, witches stairs, and <laughs> but of course this is the the white magic. So, like I said, you can keep this string with the beads next to you. Uh, don't tidy up, maybe in your handbag, maybe in your purse, mm. but not, not on you. <clears throat> okay, and this is going to be our last ritual. Uh, 
this one very strong to attract love you will need for this ritual um, rose, rose quartz a piece of stone maybe piece of stone if you have rose quartz or, or if you have jewelry with um, rose quartz that you wearing uh, you always wearing um, because but it's important that this jewelry has this rose quartz in it because we charging the actual stone in this case so what you need like i said piece of rose quartz or jewelry with the rose quartz three fresh roses um, they can be red or it can be mixed with pink and one red candle uh, also for you need to get mentally prepared for this ritual uh, try to be um, alone and uh, so make sure that you're not going to be distracted by anything or anyone uh, so you can focus uh, because you cannot rush this ritual as well and you need to um, yeah time for this so when you prepared all your ingredients you need to fill up the bath or if you don't have a bath um, have a shower uh, but use something with rose fragrance mm. so uh, shower uh, shower gel uh, with rose fragrance maybe if you have body oil mm, or you have uh, rose perfume uh, or maybe body lotion uh, anything with a rose smell of rose that would be that's what you need and when you are washing important to be grateful and thankful and believe that your love is on his way so you believe uh, that such a person exists that you believe that lovers exist so after wash like uh, like i said already use the um, and this um, rose fragrance oil uh, on your body or perfume thank the water for the energy uh, and then you need to make an altar it can be somewhere in the house if you have wooden table on the table or if you have a garden uh, it's good to do it outside So all you need to do, you need to take your fresh roses and use the petals from them and spread all around them. Or in front of you, like you have an altar, spread those petals and in the middle of them uh, put the red candle. Mm, light it up and sit of, in, front of, in front of your altar, you should be comfortable. Um, and look at the flame take your rose quartz uh, like I say piece or jewelry uh, in your in your right hand and say I give and I receive love like calm and strong water after that uh, you move your rose quartz to the left hand and look uh, while looking at the flame and and say I give and I receive love clean light and deep keep looking uh, on your flame uh, Feel warmth and energy mm, from the flame. You have to be calm, like I said, and you have to be can't rush this ritual. You should feel happiness and uh, gratefulness just for your existence and for and you should feel love towards 
anything around you, the nature, uh, the life itself. So, then put your rose quartz back in your right hand and say, I give and I receive love bright and warm like sunlight. After that, put it back in your left hand and say it. I give and I receive strong love, our most par powerful and strong oak. Put again in your right hand, saying, I give, I receive bright love as fire. Like I said, all this time keep looking on your flame and feel happiness. At this moment, you should love everyone around you, feel the love from the whole universe. You should be sure that you know that universe loves you. Put again in your right hand your rose quartz and say, I open for love and my love protects my beloved or loved one. <coughs> Put again in your right hand and say, I am full of love and let my love to fill up my beloved loved one. After that, take your rose quartz and kiss three times with love. Hold it in your hand, squeeze it together with the petals rose petals, as many you can collect from your altar, together with your rose quartz and feel warmth, feel uh, strength and say, my love is strong and surround everything that I do. I always feel this love. Love, it is part of me and everything that I do. Hold your amulet as long as you as you long, want, you wish. Um, it is important. It's very important to feel that love is all around you and everything that is always with you. <clears throat> After that, uh, clean your amulet from your rose petals three times, like. After that, you should wear it or. Uh, on you for one month. You can take it off at night, put it under your pillow or put it next to your bed. Uh, if it's a piece of uh, quartz, I believe um, you just always keep it with you. Um, so after one month you can uh, keep it somewhere maybe in your bedroom so you don't need to wear it uh, all the time. When you finished your ritual, leave the candle to burn off. To finish, collect the petals. Um, and when you collect the petals, you can uh, throw them through the window to the wind, to, to blow by the wind. Or you can take them some, uh, somewhere uh, to the nature. Um, they are your, like, your love agents. They are spreading your love fluids, so you can uh, find your love uh, sooner. And it's very important that when it's full moon, uh, you meditate on the love, on finding love, um, about you meeting your love. You just can say it. Yes, I know you uh, exist. I'm waiting for you. I am um ready ready for love um this way and the moon will charge your rose quartz your your amulet mm, so this ritual is very strong uh, and it might work already in uh, you might uh, find love already in eight days eight weeks um, or eight months, it all depends on the universe, of course. 
So I wish you all um, bright and happy uh, summer solstice. Uh, I hope your all wishes all come true. I hope this little um, notes and rituals were helpful and handy and you enjoy doing them. Um, well, you have nothing to lose anyway. Uh, so I'm getting prepared. I got my um, sunny flowers. I wish you all the best. And all of your almost all tarot readings already are on my channel. Um, please leave any comments, uh, keep likes, subscribe, uh, so you can be updated. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.